Amazon fall fashion video. You guys, I have so many good pieces today. I have some trendy pieces. I have some that are just gonna be good staples. I've got fall family photos outfits. I've got just a variety here. Everything that I am talking about is gonna be linked in the description bar and the comment section. I'll have it numbered on the screen for y'all to very easily shop. And I will also have size info and color info because I often do tend to forget those. Um, for size reference, I'm currently sitting at between an eight to 10 and I am wearing a large in tops because I have eight weeks postpartum. So I'm breastfeeding my son and I say I'm sitting at an eight to 10 just because my size is still kind of changing a little bit. So I'm closer to the eight, but I'm still wearing tens and some things um, and a large as well. So five foot nine, that's all my size info. It's just rapidly changing. You know how it goes when you're postpartum, but let's go ahead and get started. So I'll actually start out with the sweaters because I'm wearing one now. I have it tucked into my top because I do like when I'm wearing high-waisted pants to have a little bit more of like a cropped look. I think it just makes my waist look a little bit smaller versus this that can kind of make me look a little bit bigger just because of my chest. But oh my gosh, this is the perfect staple sweater. I have the sleeves rolled up because it actually is a little bit warmer here today, but the sleeve length to this one is really, really nice. And the staple that this sweater is, is truly unmatched. It's one of my favorite stores from Amazon. So I know that the quality is gonna hold up for a really long time. And I also really like the color selections. I will say that I have this sweater in the color rose that they have online, and it is so bright. Like, I'll see if I can find a picture of it. It is one of the brightest, pinkest sweaters that I own, and I feel like the image looks a little bit more dull. So be careful if you do buy a color, but this is, I believe, the off-white, and it's a really nice, soft off-white. This sweater washes and dries nicely. It doesn't pick or pill. I wash and dry everything before I share it with y'all um, so that you know what quality you're getting. And this also has a naturally oversized fit because it fully covers my booty, and I am wearing a large, which is, again, my true size. So. I like the length to this one. I like that it's, you know, a little bit bigger on the sides, but not like dumpy looking. Um, it's just a really comfy piece. So a great staple and one that I promise you, like I always gravitate towards the lighter, creamy, off-white colors this time of year. You will see me in this a ton. This is another sweater that I find the color online is not the most accurate. So when you go to purchase this, this is the color khaki. I mean, this is straight up pink in my opinion, almost like a peachy pink. I would never say khaki for this, um, but this is a look for less sweater and it is such a good, again, staple. That's what you're gonna hear me say a lot in this video because I just love staple pieces that I feel like I can wear with leggings or jeans, whether the jeans are straight leg or skinny. I mean, it does not matter. I feel like I'm gonna be able to style this really easily. You could also do some like really sleek, chic black work pants, and then again, do a little front tuck with this, and it's gonna look awesome. This is my true size large and it fits perfect. Again, has a naturally oversized fit to it. I actually styled it with a pair of jeans the other day and some sneakers and it looked really good. I did the front tuck and then in the back it was a little bit longer. It's just a nice, thick, heavy duty material and also, no picks, no pills. I've washed this a handful of times because I've actually had this one for a couple weeks and I just love it. It is a great, great piece to have in your closet. Um, but again, a look for less and there are a variety of colors available. And then I have the viral Amazon bodysuit. So if you guys saw my video from the other day, I can't remember what day I put it up. This is one of the things that I talked about. I tried out the viral Amazon bodysuits for the first time and it was like fail, fail, fail until I got to the long sleeve because it doesn't have a seam at the bottom. So larger chested girls can wear these. And it also is breastfeeding friendly. The front pulls down super easy. I wore this the other day and I was breastfeeding my son and it immediately, like when I pulled the bra back up, the top came back up and it didn't stretch too much. So that is a huge, huge shock for a breastfeeding mama because I love bodysuits and I miss them so much and I know a lot of you guys did too. So that was kind of the thing I kept seeing all these people were like, oh, it's a viral bodysuit and you can breastfeed in it. And I was like, can you? But you can. So I actually bought this one in the cream color. It is going to be delivered to my house today. And I will say this has that real suck you in effect. 
it fits true to size and it's still just like makes your waist like suck in which looks good but these daggum clips like whoever designed these clips you, no you don't get to design bodysuits anymore okay i don't ever really snap my bodysuits i don't know many people who do because they do still look really form-fitted without being snapped but like these are those ones that they have in your bra i mean come on they're awful like who would want to finagle with that every time you have to go to the bathroom so i don't ever hook or snap my bodysuits together just a little FYI, but I love, love, love this one that I ended up buying it in another color. Next up, I have some dresses for you guys, and I think these would be the perfect fall family photo dress. So I prefer dresses, especially when it comes to a family photo situation, because I think it's just less you're having to decide on for yourself. But I heard some people say that these fit already naturally oversized, and I was kind of like, yeah, but I'm five foot nine. So what does that mean for us tall girls? And I am so happy that both sizes I got actually fit perfect. Um, one just does have a little bit more room. So I got my true size large in the brown. I was really impressed at how it washed and dried. I thought it fit perfect. The length is, like I'm used to things being a little bit shorter on me just because I'm all legs and always have been. So for me, it's fine. But I was like, I know that there are some people out there who maybe if you're my height are gonna think this is too short. So I sized up one to see if it provided a little extra length and it did, but that's not gonna be necessary if you are like five, seven or shorter. You're gonna be totally fine to get your true size of these. I got the extra large in the green and the large in the brown, and they are both just perfect. I think they would work so good with like a pair of neutral booties or boots. They are comfy, they wash and dry nicely. Um, the fabric is, seems really high quality. The dress is like a very heavy uh, material, not uncomfortable, but like you you can tell this just isn't like a cheapy sweater dress so i really do love this one i love the way it looks fits feels easy to style but again i think if you're looking for like fall family photo outfits it's easier to do dresses because you're just having to think less about what to match with what now this dress i had to size up in to get it to be as long as it is and it's still pretty short on me Again, something if you're 5'7 or shorter, you're gonna be fine to wear your true size. But I also found that this one was a little bit high maintenance. So I washed it with similar colors, but there was something in there that was like a lighter brown. Um, it was one piece. So it was like a lot of blues, a lot of blacks, but one thing that was lighter brown. And daggum, it got all over this. Like this just picked up all of the other fabric and I had to take a fabric shaver to it and it still was a little bit difficult. So I would say like probably hang this one to dry. Don't put it in the dryer at all, but it didn't shrink up, which is nice. It just wash it either with everything that's all black if you get the black or hang it to dry by itself. Um, but this is a really soft dress. I love the little button detail on the neckline and I think it's super cute with the little pockets as well. But again, like, I'm just so tall that I'm used to things being shorter and sometimes people look at things and they're like, oh, oh my gosh, like that would be so short on me, but I promise I'm just super tall. So love this one, the material's nice, but be careful with drying it. And then we have some outerwear. I actually have seen this jacket for a couple years now and I've always loved it, but I never bought it just cause I don't know why. Like I just saw it the other day and I found it was like, you know, we've seen it, we've loved it, we think it's cute. So let's go ahead and buy it, and it is really, really good. Now, I got, let's see, my true size large in this one, and it fits perfect. I love how it's a little bit in the in-between. It's not super heavy that you need to wear this as a coat, but it's also not so light that you're like, I have to layer this with like three other things. This is a true jacket. You can wear it as a shirt, you can wear it as a jacket. I find that that term is used pretty universally, even though it shouldn't be. True jacket here. Um, the color is really nice. It does have like a true gray that's not too blue or too brown, and then a true brown that's not too blue or too gray. So it just works with a bunch of different colors. It's comfy, washes and dries like a dream. It also washes and dries completely wrinkle free, and it is not itchy. So I really enjoy this one. I think it's a good fall staple, and I cannot wait to wear it this year. And then I bought this vest because this is a true in between. So we've kind of seen those crop vests being the things that people are talking about. 
or you have the really oversized vest. I do like oversized vests because I think that they work like if you have somewhere you're wearing a vest or a coat outside and you're like sitting on bleachers or it's just cooler. When you sit down, that's nice. But I prefer the crop vest because I feel like they look super chic and like kind of trendy. But this is actually just gonna hit at your waistline. It's just like a natural, like normal size vest but it is really thick. So this is gonna keep you super warm too. I decided, you know what, we're just getting a neutral vest that just hits right at the waist. Let's just get a good, easy color black. And I love it. Washed and dried perfectly. It does have like faux pockets on the front. They're not the kind that you could even like cut into and um, you know, like actually use, like they are fully sewn. And it has a really durable zipper on the front too. So another good staple, one that um, if you're not about the crop vest trend, this is gonna be a good alternative. And then I really wanted to put this as outerwear, but I also wasn't sure if we should count it as a sweater. So this is like a sweater cardigan, coatigan thing. <laughs> it has buttons that go up the front that I love. You could definitely button it or leave it unbuttoned, but I feel like this is super thick, so that's ultimately why I decided we're talking about it with the outerwear. It is a gorgeous color a look for less and really easy to style. It washes so perfectly. I mean, not one pick or pill. And I always just find that like, that is a true hit or miss with Amazon stuff. Oftentimes I won't even like mention things like the black one that had issues with. I just won't even talk about them at all because they frustrate me so much. So when I do find one like this, that just comes out of the washer and dryer, absolutely perfect. So I know it's low maintenance and it also is gonna be easy to style. I am like, yes. I cannot wait to share. So lots of colors available in this one. It's a good staple. Um, I did decide on the green because I'm loving greens and blues this year, but a really good one, very heavy duty, but again, going to be very easy to start. And then I bought this shirt in two colors because it is that good. I find that I have a million plain white, plain black, plain gray t-shirts in my closet. And you're always on the hunt for like the perfect white tee, but that's not universal. Like sometimes you want a more casual white tee. Sometimes you want a dressier white tee. So I got this one and I thought, oh my gosh, it's so perfect. It works with everything. So let's go ahead and grab a color. And I love the orange. Now this is definitely on the dressier side as far as just like a basic white tee goes. It's not dress tee, but I think this is one you could easily put under a blazer and wear it for work. Or you could wear it with like a really nice pair of jeans and some heels and it's gonna look really, really chic. Um, it is just like a true, like it hits right at my waistline. I would say it's not really oversized and I got my true size large in both of these, but they also have a cap sleeve kind of cut off to them. So they actually make your arms look really good so that's why I purchased this in two colors love the quality love how easy they wash and dry just a really really good again I know I'm said it a hundred times staple and I actually have bought these now in three colors but I've already shared the camo with y'all so I wanted to share the other colors that I purchased so I got the burgundy and I believe these are either like the army green or the deep green Again, I'll put that in the description bar and comment section below, but these are really good joggers, very comfy. Um, they are longer though, definitely on the longer side because I wear these fully pulled up to my belly button and they are the perfect length for me. They have drawstrings, they fit true to size, really high quality. They feel kind of like a moisture wicking material in a way, but they're not. Um, they just are so, so nice. So. That's why I have these in three colors, but I've actually already shared the camo with y'all and I will link that video right here if you are interested in seeing it. It was like my other kind of like pre-fall, fall transition video that I shared. Um, and I talked about the camo pants in that one. I always love a good mini skirt. So I got this brown one this year and I am super happy with the quality of it and the fit. The zipper on the back is a really nice quality as well. And it washed and dried and came out wrinkle free. I feel like the color that you see online is what you get when it comes in and it's really, really soft. Again, on the shorter side, I always have to mention that. Um, but I really like this one because I think this would be super cute to style with a sweater, whether you do a crop or a regular one, and then some boots. I think that would be a really nice fall outfit. Um, if you got a date night or something, this is gonna look really good. So I did go ahead and pick up a brown skirt. I always like to have a little skirt to wear. Um, again, just like a time, you know, go on a date night, want to look a little bit cuter, don't want to wear jeans or something. I always like to have a good skirt on hand, and this is a really good one for fall. 
And then these pants. So I am wearing a pair of like straight leg 90s jeans right now. They're from Abercrombie. I'll have my full outfit linked below. I'm wearing them with Nike Jordans. Like they're, they are definitely a trendy piece and I'm shocked at how much I like them. So when I tried these and I love them, I was like, let's try some of the faux leather pants. The only thing is because the faux leather pants are such a trendy piece and they are still like a hundred bucks on Abercrombie. I just didn't want to pay, like pay that much for something that I may not wear that much. Like occasionally I'll wear these. So I went to Amazon and sure enough, I found these amazing faux leather pants, but for me, they're like a, they're, they're at the awkward length. I found that with straight leg, any kind of straight leg pants, that's my frustration. They're just awkward. I either need them to be a little bit shorter or a little bit longer. So I have not like trimmed these or hemmed them up or anything, um, but I am planning on it to make them just a smidge shorter because I feel like with straight leg, either just over the top of your ankle or fully like touches the top of your foot is like the perfect length, at least in my opinion. I don't like anything in between that. I feel like it just makes my shoes specifically look really weird. So I found these, love them, but do not go based off of their size chart. The size chart was the wildest thing. I measured my waist, hips, and then I think my like butt or something, whatever it told me to measure. And I got three different sizes. One of them literally said I should buy a small, one said I should wear a medium, and one said I should wear a large based on my measurements. And I was like, that does not make sense. So I went with my gut, got my true size large, and they fit perfect. So just get your true size. That size chart that they have is super confusing, um, but I love the fit of these, but do not, I am just gonna trim them up just a hair. Last thing I wanted to mention are these booties. I love them. So if y'all watched my Nordstrom video, you know that I bought the Steve Madden booties from the sale. They don't have this like Western vibe to them, but I was really sad because they came in and I was like, these do not look like the color online. They were way more brown in person than they looked in the product image. And so when I saw these on Amazon, I was like, I don't know. I love the color, but let's see. And I feel like these are exactly like the product image. They are such a nice material pointed toe. They have a zipper on the side. Again, kind of a Western feel. And then the heel height on these is a little bit higher than what you may be comfortable with, but I find that Steve Madden booties are so comfy that it doesn't even matter. Now I size up half a size in all of his shoes, sandals, flats, sneakers, heels, booties. It does not matter because I just think they're the most comfortable that way. So I got a 10 in these and they fit perfect. I just, it's the color for me. I really think I'm gonna be wearing these a ton, especially with like jeans like these that are straight leg and they're fully gonna cover up this Western part. You're not gonna to have to like style your whole outfit around that. You can really just like look like you're wearing just neutral light brown booties. And that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys really liked it. Definitely make sure to click the subscribe button if you are new here and if you like this video. I have some really cute more fashion videos coming soon. I got a lot of cute Amazon home videos coming y'all's way. So thank y'all for watching. Don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'd love to have you join the fam. Love you so much. And I will see you in my next video.